Hey folks, welcome to this week's favorite collection here at the CIO PCC. Now, this week's is going to be a little unusual. I was trying to figure out a way to cover some more of these animated lines that I haven't done in other videos into a grouping. And so it's not really a grouping I normally think of when I'm collecting, but I thought it would be uh, something that would cover quite a bit. And that is stop motion, or what used to be called claymation. Stop motion films, there's been a few, I thought, that would, you know, I've got a few action figures for that stuff. Ah, was I ever wrong. There's a ton. So this is going to be a fairly long video, and we're going to walk all over the place. And we're going to start down here with Corpse Bride. Now, McFarlane did Corpse Bride action figures. You can see here's a couple of them here. And as we come around the corner, we get a few more. They did a really nice job with this line. It's uh, one of those uh, it's still pretty easy to pick up and uh, is uh, really not appreciated for what it is. It's really quite a nice line. They are also the ones who did the 12-inch uh, dolls back there. But the my personal favorite of the whole thing are these three busts that Gentle Giant did. It's another one of those lines that, sadly, Gentle Giant got started, did a little, and then copped out. We could have gotten so many more good characters. Oh, let's see. Here's Frank and Weenie. There's some PVCs. These, I believe, were also uh, was also McFarland did some PVCs. And behind them, you can see... The NECA Coraline Dolls. They did four of these in different uh, outfits. They actually did some different faces. And that one there with the uh, starry sweater on, that's the one that everybody really wants to find. If you come around this side, you will see... There she is in her box. She was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Kind of hard to get these days. Right next to her, we have a couple more. James and the Giant Peach. These two large dolls are from the movie, of course. Both claymation characters, the centipede and the grasshopper. Really nicely done. Around here, you see some Paranorman stuff. And sure enough, in back there, we have some Paranorman action figures. They didn't do much with this. Uh, this was a fairly quick, short line. There's four of them there that I know of. And then they, these are actually, these were hyped by Huckleberry. These are actually the glow-in-the-dark ones they released at San Diego Comic-Con. I believe they did all four of these sets also as non-glow-in-the-dark. Maybe had done some more sets, too. And in front of them, of course, we have the classic Wallace and Gromit. Most of the figures, again, done by McFarlane, are from the Weir Rabbit. But there's a few other... Wallace and Gromit things thrown in there for good measure. I'm actually missing still one of the Gromits from this line. I keep an eye out to pick him up, but I don't want to spend much on him. It's another line that's really underappreciated. Uh, recently, you saw my Chicken Run figures when we were talking about DreamWorks movies and action figures. Did you know there's another Chicken Run coming out? There sure is. Chicken Run 2 is coming out in December, I believe like Rise of the Nuggets or Birth of the Nuggets or something like that. So there we have a whole bunch. But that's not all, folks. I started thinking about it, and there's quite a few more. So let's go down around this way, and let's talk about some of the earliest in the stop motion, the Harryhausen stuff. There's a couple of skeletons here. These were based off the uh, Harryhausen films as well as the Star A statues up here. These things are great, fantastic, amazing. Now, technically they're not action figures, but I wasn't going to leave them out of this video for that small technicality, especially since they're probably not going to get included in many, thing, in many other videos. Now let's go down around this way. Another one I had completely forgot about, and I bet you forgot about too, is from NECA. That's a actually quite good movie. And sadly, it's another one where we only got two figures. Nine. We got these two figures of the cast. I really wished we'd gotten the whole set, but unfortunately those were the only two they produced for us. Then there, of course, also from a couple of different companies, mostly NECA, but also Diamond Select, is The Nightmare Before Christmas. Now, when we get closer to Christmas time, I'm going to do a whole favorite collection on Christmas action figures. So you're going to see a whole bunch of this stuff again. No doubt about it. But talk about a terrific series. Now, this one 
we did get lots of the different characters. Really a nicely done set. And what we didn't get from NECA, like Mrs. Claus there, we got from Diamond Select. And if you go around the corner, we even have the sled. I really like the sled. So that's another stop motion line. Oh, then there's the year before Santa Claus and Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, which we have plenty of. Or that's the year without Santa Claus. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. And if you come down to the bottom down here, there's even more from those classic stop motion Christmas shows. It does seem like we got a lot of stop motion when it came to uh, Christmas and other holidays. And this is just a smattering here. Again, like I said, when we do the uh, Christmas themed line, we're going to show you a whole bunch more of those. Christmas wasn't the only one to get a line. Oh my goodness, look. Somebody fell over. Peter Cottontail. So there's also the Peter Cottontail line. Now, let's talk about classic stop motion. You can't get any more classic than King Kong. So let's walk on down here and let's look at the only, you know, we've got some King Kongs like those guys up there. Mezco did. This is sort of the original King Kong, but really the best original King Kong that I have in the collection is the one McFarlane did with the Fay Ray figure and the uh, diorama that goes with it. That's not the only monster-related one. There was Mad Monster Party, too, and Diamond Select did these from Mad Monster Party. They're a great set. Frankenstein, Dracula, and the Doctor. And we're going to finish all of this up with a very recent release. Pinocchio. The Guillermo del Toro film. Here we have Pinocchio sitting down here by himself. And there's Geppetto. I don't buy much Mego related these days, but I had to pick that set up because uh, I knew that was probably the only thing we were going to get from that movie. So, as you can see, that's stop motion. Those are all stop motion movies that have had lines. Quite a bit of it. And like I said, I don't actually specifically go out of my way to collect that stuff. But I thought it was a nice grouping to cover some of the other animated lines that might not have been covered in another way. So, until uh, next week, actually until Friday, I'm going to be doing an uh, acquisition report. Make sure you subscribe and have a great one.